Vincent Falco, what did I tell you? But, Dad! What did I tell you? That... I'm grounded? Exactly! And that means no TV, no radio, and no video games. That's so unfair! Are you joking? You and your criminal friends blew away half of Mrs. Johnson's garden. I'm sorry. It was an accident. We didn't know that sodium was so volatile. Vinny, you're a smart kid. And I'm glad you like science. But there are a lot of things to do other than electrocuting, burning, or blowing stuff up. I get the point. I I'm sorry. That's much better. But you are still grounded. So no video games. You understand me? I understand. That's much better. See you tomorrow. But, just in case you didn't understand me well enough, I'll be taking these cartridges with me. But, Dad! Hey, it takes courage to apologize when you did something wrong. You're growing, and I'm proud of you. That means I'm not grounded anymore? Nope, but it reduces your sentence. I don't want you to think that your decisions don't have consequences. Because believe me, they do. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to deal with the results of your actions. Remember, your attitudes toward other people matters. Anyways. I'm locking this door. Good night! Someone's throwing rocks in my window. If I had to guess, it's Nick or Tony. Eh, probably Nick. I should open the window to see what's going on. Hey, Vinny Vinny! Shh! Shut up, Nick! I'm grounded! Oh, yeah. Well, me too. I think everyone heard about our, uh, experiment near Mrs. Johnson's garden. Then what are you doing here? Are you crazy? The last of the crap Tony needs to make a signal descrambler came in the mail! We're gonna get pay-per-view cable for free! We gotta get to Tony's house! Uh, I'm not so sure, Nick. Three words, man! Naked. Chicks. On TV! Those are four words. But... <sighs> you win. Give me a minute. Just keep it quiet, alright? Hey! There's the key to my wardrobe! Now I remember. I put it here because my sister is allergic to these flowers. Now that I say it out loud... Man, I sound paranoid. But I'm almost positive she uses my things when I'm out. Rad! Hey! My old Roboto Battle Station! What were you doing there? It could be fun to start practicing BMX stunts again. No more cool stuff hiding here. Hey! What? Can you open the treehouse window? Are you gonna use the zipline? Isn't that, like, kinda risky? I mean, you could fall, your dad is going to find you all crippled, then he's going to call my parents, and I don't want that to happen. Don't worry, man. If I break a leg, I will silently crawl back to my home. 
Okay, I understand. I guess a night of free pay-per-view cable is worth the risk. Just give me a minute. Okay, but hurry! Okay, this is my one-way ticket out. Let's make this thing spin. Tony, we're here! Did we miss anything? No, not really. I'm almost done connecting the antenna. Are you sure this is going to work? Why does it even need the antenna if we're trying to pick up cable? I installed a transmitter on the cable box down the street. That way there's no big obvious wires leading right to this house. And believe me, this thing has way more power than we need to watch free cable. You still have those pony bed sheets? Yeah, the pony cartoon has its moments. And my grandmother thinks ponies are cool. If you say so, I guess I'll give it a second chance. I'm sure you're going to like it. And in season two, things get much better with the first tooth pony babies and all. Megan really grew as a character. Really? Yeah. Anyways, I would love to keep hearing you talk about ponies, but let's go back to what is important. When are we gonna start watching adult television? After some final adjustments. Can you move the antenna a bit? Okay, let me try. It's working! What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of sci-fi movie. From China? What language is this even in? I have no idea. But I didn't build a descrambler, so we could catch the international channel. Let's try another one. Something's wrong. This thing is on every single channel. On the plus side, we can watch Chinese movies. What the hell was that? That wasn't a shooting star. I don't think that was a movie. What do you mean? It could be possible that we just witnessed some sort of distress call from a spaceship that just crashed into South Plains Greenwoods. I I'm not sure. What if it was just the weirdest coincidence ever? Then what are we waiting for? 
That wasn't far from here. Let's go find out. But what about the Cable Girls? Look, if that was an alien spaceship, we could be the first humans to meet beings from another planet. Don't you want to be part of human history? But the girls... I'm pretty sure that if we become part of human history, we'll get more girls than if we stay home stealing Cable. You got a point. Let's get moving. According to my calculations, we must be near. Yeah, it smells like burnt ass. It's too bumpy. We'll have to walk from here. Some blue liquid spilled on the ground. It smells funny. Look, the bushes are moving. Hello? Mr. Extraterrestrial, is that you? We saw your transmission. We come in peace. They don't... Those are not the aliens we're looking for. Those are wolves. I knew this was a bad idea. Quick, pretend to be bigger. Wolves almost never attack adults. Go away. I've got a mortgage to pay. Shoo, shoo. Really? Shut up, it's working! Shoo! Shoo! I have three kids and a boring job! Shoo! This isn't working. Any other plan? Let's scare them by acting aggressive! I'll charge them, you cover me! Are you sure about this? I saw it in a documentary. A honey badger did this to a group of lions and he escaped! Those aren't lions. We're not honey badgers, and this is not a documentary. Let's give it a try. We have nothing to lose. Other than our life. Are you sure we don't have any other option? Okay, those wolves were bad enough, but that sound perturbed me even more. If that was an alien, aliens are loud. We should get away from here before the wolves change their minds. What are you doing here? This is no time to visit the woods, kids. Didn't you know the area's full of wolves? Yeah, we just saw some of them over there. You were lucky they didn't attack you. You better get home. If you do it quick, I won't tell your parents about this. Sir, yes sir. Let's go. Wait! Do you know what this blue liquid is? It was like this when we got here. Did you see or hear anything else unusual tonight? No. Something tells me you're not being honest with me. Does anyone else know that you- What the hell?! Run! Let's get to the treehouse! Okay. Here's the situation. There's a killer alien in town, and we're the only ones that know about it. We should tell the police. We could try, but I don't think they'll believe us. We could at least tell the park rangers that one of their guys was attacked in the woods. That makes sense. I think we should stop it ourselves. Who knows how many people that creature is going to kill before the police realize what's up? Any suggestions on how we're gonna do that? I was thinking of setting a trap. A bear trap. No one can escape a bear trap. I think it would be better if we could ensnare him with a strong net. He seems to have long limbs, so, in my opinion, 
a net would be the more effective option. We could dig a big hole and cover it with leaves. Who do you think you are, Willy E. Coyote? Because your net idea is so much better! Please remind me, what are we trying to catch again? An alien or a shark? Gentlemen, please, there's no need to argue. Look, we don't know anything about this alien, except that it's all gangly and likes to stab people. Maybe we should take a blanket approach, you know? Cover all our bases. We can put together a bigger trap that uses all three ideas. The hole, the net, and the bear trap. At least if it fails, nobody can point fingers. Sounds fair to me. And don't worry about digging the hole. I'm sure the bull will help us with that. He owes me big time. Hi, Bull. Hey, kids. You here to play some more video games? I got a new one. We need your help. There's a killer creature from outer space in town. Holy shit, what? A killer alien? That sounds dangerous. You should stay away from it. Are you going to help us? As much as I want to lend a hand with space hunting, I'm really busy. You are playing video games. Oh yeah, these things can be real addictive. And believe me, I know about addictive shit. So, are you going to help us? No, I really can't. You see that guy over there? Yes. Well, he's hidden something he stole from one of my clients. My client wants it back. I have to make him talk. Can you do that later? He can't escape. No, this is one of those clients you don't want to mess with. But there is a creature from outer space here, in South Plains! Believe me, kiddo. If they think I'm double-crossing them, they will come for me. Even if the whole cast of Galaxy Wars is running around town. What did that guy steal? What do I always tell you? That stabbing someone is easier if that someone doesn't know he is about to be stabbed? Yeah, but what else? The less we know about your work, the better for us. What game are you playing? Maze Quest. Oh, this game is awesome. Did you know that if you beat this game, you can send a letter with a code to the developers of the game? And you can win a golden crown! A real solid golden crown! Tubular! Yeah, finally a game that inspires some emotions in real life. May I give this game a try? Yeah, please do. Just keep in mind, this game is really unfair. I think the correct answer is Y-X-N-E-G-R-E-M-E -E -E, because it's emergency backwards. What about emerging it? Because he says the emergency backwards. What about stranger? He says that a lot, and I'm sure the logic of this game sucks. I told you, this game is just unfair. Ugh, 
let's see what we got. Bingo! Three things that are not completely garbage. A Jumpy Joe toy, a Chipmunks cassette, and a number five wrench. Jumpy Joe and the Chipmunks tape are clearly garbage. Okay, I'll ditch the Chipmunks. But I'm keeping Jumpy Joe. It's vintage! Hello. Hi, kids. I'm kind of busy trying to write my novel. Go talk with Ranger Troy over there. We saw an alien! I'm the one writing a novel, and I'm trying to keep my writing grounded in reality. What is the novel about? A handsome ranger in the 19th century traveling through Europe. Interesting. Which countries does he visit? Italy, Spain, Paris, Serbia, Chile, and Africa. I tried to keep everything in the west side of Europe. How long have you been just clipping your nails? Five hours? Uh, not much to clip at this point, but I find it good for creative thinking. However, well, I'm kind of having writer's block. I have a few ideas, but I don't know how to follow up on them after the initial premise. Maybe you should stop clipping your nails and just write. You know nothing about creative thinking. It's all about procrastination. May we help you with your writing? Well, uh, I'm having troubles with a few ideas. Tell me if you have any good follow-up for this situation. The protagonist finds a mysterious tall man that kills a cop in front of him. A piano with a bomb attached falls over the protagonist's head while a rattlesnake bites him. A woman faints after seeing a wild lion, and they run out of smelling salts to wake her up. The protagonist and his friends are confronted by a group of hyenas. About the group of hyenas. Five angry hyenas confront the protagonist and his two best friends. What if the protagonist and his friends scare off the hyenas by charging against the pack? Hey, that's not bad. And it makes sense. I heard that honey badgers do that to lions. Yeah, exactly. I'm not convinced. They are not honey badgers, and hyenas are not lions. Shut up. I like it. I'm going to start writing about it right away. And you. You deserve a prize. But, uh, what can I give you? A bear trap. No. You know what? Take my nail clipper. I hope I don't need it for a long time. That's disgusting. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to write about. Hello! Hi, kids! Hi, Ranger Troy! What are you doing up so late? What kind of trouble you got brewing this time? I'm guessing you wouldn't believe us. There is an alien in the woods! <laughs> hey, Jack, did you hear that? I wish I didn't. Sorry, kids. We don't have time for your games. We already have enough trouble with unscrupulous hunters. Yes, we do. Isn't one of your rangers missing? No. Why do you ask? Someone attacked a ranger in the green woods. We saw it. This is something serious, kids. When did all this happen? I don't know, a few minutes ago? Gotcha. I knew you were messing with us. We're the only two rangers on the night shift. Right, Jack? Yep, you were right. You've got to believe us. The ranger we saw was blonde and skinny. There are no skinny rangers in South Plains. Can you at least call the central station and ask if someone was sent to check Green Woods? Hmm, okay. Samantha? Yes, Troy? Was someone sent to the Green Woods tonight? No, Troy. Did something happen? Nah, just some kids trying to prank me. Good night, Samantha. Good night, Troy. 
Are you happy now? We saw something weird in the woods. You shouldn't be alone in the woods at this time of year in the middle of the night. Unless you want to be wolf food. And you don't want to be wolf food. But we saw a big creature. A bear? No, it was more like an alien. I hope you're trying to play a prank on us. Otherwise, television is frying your brains. Can we take the bear trap? No, that is evidence. Can you lend it to us? We'll bring it back, we promise! No, I will not lend a bunch of kids an illegal trap that is, in fact, evidence in a very complicated case. So, I guess that if we ask you to lend us a shotgun, the answer would also be no, right? You guessed right. I told you the one with the glasses was a smart one. Goodbye! Goodbye, kids. It's empty. It looks like it's empty. This reminds me of a Pony Show episode where there's a magical fridge that has a secret compartment, like the one I added here. Ta-da! Cool! What did you store here? A Pony and Co. Club ID? Why did you hide a Pony and Co. Club ID in a secret compartment? Are you mad? Do you know how hard it is to get one of these? Mm, not really. Very. got us in a lot of trouble before. We may need to leverage this destructive power if we want to defeat a killer creature from outer space. Besides, it wasn't the sodium carbonate that blew up Mrs. Johnson's stuff. I mean, it was in part, but crafting that bomb took a lot of work and ingredients. It's quite inert at the moment. Go ahead, take it. These chemicals are always handy. Plastic bags, foam, cardboard boxes... Hey! Here is a lovely Christmas red light bulb! This is not a Christmas light. It's an infrared light bulb. It even says it on the side. Yeah, I bought it by mistake. You can keep it if you want. Tubular. Hello. Hello? Hey, uh, I've seen you around. You're the kid next door, right? You live with the... Uh, uh, with the... With the old deaf lady. Yes, she is my grandmother. Her name is Ophelia, my name is Tony, and no, I'm not visiting her, I live with her. Cool! Well, that was a lot of information, so, uh... My name is Gary Wilson. You can call me Gary. I work in the video game industry. My wife is Victoria Wilson. I live with her, and she will kill me if I don't set up these Christmas lights tonight. I see you have a problem there. Yeah, I made a mess with this cable, and now I can't reach the plug with it. I think I need another extension cord. Don't you have enough cable there? Believe me, every time I try to untangle this, it just gets worse. Ah, oh, this is just like some kind of anaconda cable. Have you seen something unusual tonight? 
Other than this extremely complicated mess, no, not really. Am I missing something? No, not really. But if you happen to see an alien creature, please tell us. I'll be sure to let you know. What video games have you made? Oh, well, I've made many games. The last game I was involved with was Maze Quest The Stone World. There's real-life treasure for the players brave enough to beat it. That game is extremely unfair, and the clues it gives are insufficient to correctly solve a puzzle. No, 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 no. <laughs> you will realize there are subtle clues in the comics, toys, and cereals on how to beat the game. Do you know how expensive the comics, toys, and cereals are? Yep. That's why we made the game that way. I heard the game is impossible. You want to know how to beat it? Let's make a deal. You bring me an extension cord, and I'll tell you how to solve the unicorn riddle. Can you tell us how to find the unicorn too? No, I wasn't involved in that part of the game. But it can't be that hard. Is making video games as fun as it sounds? Yeah, making games is awesome! Do you like coding? No. Do you like doing art? No. Do you like repetitive stuff? No. Then... <laughs> you're not going to enjoy making games that much. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Great idea. If the alien comes from space, chances are he's been exposed to all kinds of radiation. We should be able to detect him with this. Him? Or his spaceship? His ship, his pet, his socks. Anything that came from space should have higher rad levels than normal and set off the Geiger counter. The faster and louder it beeps, the closer you are to the radioactive source. <laughs> rad levels. May I have it? Yeah, sure. But I have to warn you, my cousin gave it to me because it's broken. Supposedly, when you turn it on, the screen just goes blue or white. I guess he wanted me to repair it, but I don't have anywhere to test it. I can only see a badly maintained hedge. This kind of shrub is really dense. Buxus sempervirens, commonly known as boxwood. Hey, this thing is picking up something in the hedge. Let me see. No, more to the left. A bit more to the right. Look what we got here. What do we got here? Yeah, what did we get? I don't know. A spear? It has a weird shine to it. This definitely came from outer space. Do you think it's linked to the alien? I don't know. It has some kind of button here. I wonder what would happen if I pressed it. Quick, hide! He's gone. This is definitely linked to the alien. Whatever this is, he's looking for it. Okay. Now we have a way to call the alien's attention. Just don't touch that button again until we have set up our trap.
Hello. Hi, guys. Why are you just sitting there? Waiting for my turn to use the telephone. This week's rotation to use the phone is Mom, Diane, Dad, Nick, Diane, Billy, Tom, Diane, Diane, and me. So I'm next in line. Why so many Dianes? Is that not unfair? It used to be just Diane. Believe me, it's much better now. Why do you want to use the telephone? I want to enjoy the delights of spontaneous comedy. What does he mean? He wants to make some prank calls. He takes this so seriously. He'll spend hours calling the same number. Who are you planning to call? Today it's the morgue, the funeral home, and the cemetery. This week has been all about dark humor. Yeah, it's starting to get old. If you have a number, I'm open to suggestions. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? The hamster was already dead when I arrived. What? Nothing! Goodbye! Bye, guys. Hello! I'm trying to talk here. No, a friend of my brother. Yeah. No, the one that looks like a lizard. Hey, I'm still here. I'm on the phone. I thought I was the one who looked like a lizard. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? You also heard about that? Raul is dating Mary, but she doesn't know he was with his sister last week. But Mary made out with Raul's brother that same day. Everyone is talking about that. We were asking you about an alien. Well, maybe Raul's family's from Argentina, but it's still impolite to refer to people like that. Oh, forget about it. May I use the phone? No way. But Diane, it's something important. Uh, no freaking way. Wait your turn, like Kevin. Who are you talking to? None of your business. It's Rebecca Watterson, right? Tell her I said hi. <sighs> My brother says hi. No, Nick. She asked me to tell you to stop stalking her. I don't stalk her. I have a friend that lives near her house. What friend? Um, Willie Wilson? That's like the worst made up name ever. Goodbye. It's just garbage, man. Believe me, if we throw something out, it's useless. Hello. Hello! Are you goblins? No. That's exactly what a goblin would say. You know anything about the message on the wall? It was meant to Morrison. You to be a nice guy. You to make some real good pasta. Eating his leftovers was always a delight. Then what happened? I don't know. One day he became a nut job. And believe me, my standards for defining a sane person are extremely low. Suddenly he believed in all kind of crazy conspiracies and weird mumbo jumbo. It is sad to see a man that can't differentiate between reality and fantasy. Why you ask? He steal your pot of gold? No, just curious. Goodbye. Goodbye, little goblins. Hey, there's something in the trunk! Some... powder in a bag. It's fertilizer. Ugh, like shit? No, not that kind of fertilizer. Cool. Then, now we got some fertilizer.
Hi, Earl. Hi, kids. Lovely not to be outside, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. So, what the hell are you doing on my property? We saw something in the woods and thought it may have headed this way. Hunting, huh? Look, I have no problem with you guys shooting around. But please be careful where you aim. I don't want to lose more cattle to gun accidents. You don't have any livestock left. Oh, yeah, it's true. I had to calibrate my new rifle last week. Well, at least don't shoot the pumpkins. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? Yep. What did you see? Three kids in my farm out of nowhere. No, I mean, have you seen any weird looking animals? Oh yeah, I saw a duck wearing a shoe. Can you believe it? What the hell was he doing with a shoe? It looked so goofy. It made me laugh so hard. Where did it go? To ducky heaven. Or to my fridge, if you don't believe in God. Oh. Is that a fishing net? But it's clean. Almost no fish stink on it. Can you lend us your fishing net? No, I'm using it. Besides, what do you want it for? To catch something with it? Let me think about it. No, I'm too comfy. Can you loan us some weapons? No, there are two things that a man should never let another person take from him. His weapon and his wife. That order of priority. I mean, if someone took your wife, it could be painful. But at least he can't shoot me in the face with her. How is the farm going? There's not much to do on the farm at this time of year, so it's kind of boring. Don't you have any hobbies? I like hunting, but I already reached my quota. There's not much left to hunt around here. Don't you like anything else other than shooting innocent animals? Yeah, I also like fishing them. I usually fish at the farm stream. When the water level's been really low lately, there's nothing really worth fishing for when it's like that. Goodbye! See ya! Someone stole the light bulb. It makes sense if you want privacy. Done. Is this working? I see little difference. Well, that's the magic of infrared light. Oh, I see. No, you don't. That's like the whole point. I would probably get third-degree burns if I do that. The bulb's temperature is super hot right now. Sure! Hi! Hello? We saw a creature in the woods! Take this. Here's the ranger's number. Bears are very dangerous creatures. No, it wasn't a bear. It was a huge alien. Yeah, like a robot or something. Mm, I'm sure it was just your imagination. Where did you say you saw this? In the green woods, near the main entrance. Okay. I think your imagination and the creepy shadows can sometimes trick your perception. I recommend you go back to your homes. It's kinda late. And don't go to the woods at night. It's full of bears and wolves. Goodbye. Good night, kids. Head home now. It's late.
Oh, the Rangers. I've never called them. It could be really refreshing to have something new in my repertoire. Okay. The perfect crime. Shut up! Hello, Jeanette! Hello, guys. Oh, it's you. Uh, Nick, right? I already told you, we don't sell those kinds of magazines. Oh, well, yeah, I know. Are you trying to buy adult magazines from the comic book store? That's none of your business. Okay. Are you going to buy something? No, I mean, maybe. Well, then, uh, how can I help you? Can we pay you later? No. If you're gonna buy something, you have to pay for it now. We don't have any money with us. If you don't have any money, maybe you have something you want to trade in the Emerald Trading Club. How does the Trading Club work? It's pretty easy. If you have a comic, a book, or a video game cartridge, you can trade it for something else from the Emerald Trading Club box. Of course, your stuff has to be in good shape. Keep in mind that this service is only for regular customers that are part of the Emerald Club, or if you belong to any of our partner's customer programs. So we can use it, right? We come here a lot. Of course, if you have your Emerald Club ID or the ID of a customer program with any of our partners. I knew there was going to be a catch after the, of course. Who are your partners? Mark Worland, Toy Camp, Ponies & Co., the Laser Llama Arcades, the Booze & Boobs Club, and lastly, the National Double-Barreled Shotgun Catholic Association. Goodbye. See you later. Want to trade your game in the trading club? Pretty much. Can you show me your Emerald ID? Or the ID of a customer program of any of our partners? Welcome to the Emerald Trading Club, sir. Do you have any comic, book, or a video game cartridge you want to trade? Maybe. Want to trade your game in the trading club? Yeah, it's a great game. Well, first, we have to see if it works. It doesn't. Just give him a minute. It will start at any moment. If the game doesn't work, then you can't trade it. Hey, now it works! Great. Want to trade it on the trading club? Hmm... Okay. Cool. Pick anything from the box. I just traded a rad game for The Boy Scout's Guide to Essential Knots. Hello! Get lost, morons. I'm busy right now. You don't seem to be that busy. Well, I am. No, you are not. You are just smoking. Ugh, shut up.
I can't move it. It's too rusty. Let me give it a try. <laughs> yeah, this is too rusty. We need something to lube it up. Now I could turn the valve. It's a mess of knots. I have no idea how to untie this. Okay, so this goes here. Then here. And... Done. They were mainly triple marinero knots. Hello. Hey, kiddos! What do you need? Have you seen anything unusual tonight? Oh, I know what you mean! That you thought it was freaking huge! I was so distracted by that helmet crap the van! You saw it too, right? Yeah, we saw it. Did you notice anything unusual afterwards? Temperature dropping, radio malfunctioning, compass going crazy? No... Why the hell would I carry a compass? Is the bridge broken? Under maintenance. It's not the same as broken. But... Just give that idiot Andrew a few more minutes. I'm sure he'll break it. Could you lower the bridge? Is there an emergency going on? Does an alien invasion count? Mm, no. If there's an alien invasion, I get the bridge schedule will be adjusted by the new intergalactic administration. You seem pretty busy. Is there any way we could help? Yeah! You see that Kenny guy over there? Yes? That's Andre. Could you please point out to him what K was the green one? He is colorblind. Okay. Andre, I'm sending over some kids to help you find the green cable. Please don't screw it up this time. Can you fix a broken bear trap? I can fix a bear trap, but that thing too dangerous to be handled by a bunch of kids, so forget it. I don't want some friend of yours losing the leg over some practical joke. Goodbye. Goodbye, kids. Hello, sir. Hey, kids. Can we help you with something? Not at this moment. I think I've got everything under control. Everything is fine. Fine and dandy. You have no idea where to start, do you? Nope. Not a clue. The man over there told me I should point out the cable you need to work on. Oh yeah! Being colorblind can be annoying sometimes. Thanks! Well, this is something new. 
You had a car over there to pass me the wrench. Hello. Hey, kiddos. What do you need? Andre told me to ask you for the wrench. Okay, give me a minute. Here you go. Andre, I'm sending you the wrench you asked for. Right. Thanks. Let's see. Hey, there's something funny going on with the bridge. It's a short circuit. You should check it before everything catches fire. You know too much. Something tells me you had something to do with it. It was all my fault. I gave him the wrong tool by mistake. Tony and Nick have nothing to do with it. It wasn't my intention to cause any trouble. It's okay. If it's anyone's fault, it's mine. I'm not handling the tools myself. You were just trying to help. Anyway, it's really good to see that you assume responsibility for your actions. And didn't try to. Carl, are you there? Yes, what is going on? I think that they're catching fire. Can you come help? Oh my god! What the hell are you doing? Are you trying to burn down the bridge? It ain't my fault. These things are too complicated. How the hell did you set this on fire with just the wrench? Sometimes I think you are a gremlin in disguise. Give me some space. It worked! The cable is free! But the nail clipper broke. Well, that makes sense. It was meant to cut nails, not hard plastic. Just plug it in there. Lights on. <laughs> now it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> and I didn't forget your reward. To solve the unicorn riddle, the correct answer is 115. What is the logic behind it? The unicorn's question is, tell the emergency backwards. Well, you see, the emergency number is 911, but backwards it's 119. But you have to subtract a goblin from the cereal box and eight lions from the toy lines. But each lion's worth just half. So it's 119 minus 4 comes out to 115. That puzzle doesn't make any sense. Hi, Bo. Hi, kids. May I give this game a try? Yeah, please do. Just keep in mind, this game is really unfair. I think the correct answer is Y-X-N-E-G-R-E-M-E. 
because it's emergency backwards. What about emerging it? Because he says the emergency backwards. What about stranger? He says that a lot, and I'm sure the logic of this game sucks. Well, this makes no sense at all, but according to Mr. Wilson, it's 115, and he made the game. Noted. Hi, Bo. Hi, kids. Can you help us hunt the alien? I would love to, but I can't. I'm in the middle of something important. Could you help us dig a hole? You owe me at least that much. I know, but right now... Wait a minute. You need me to dig a hole? Yes! Does it matter where I dig it? It has to be in a secluded area near town. Perfect. I know the guy over there buried what he stole, so once we know where it is, me and the guys will dig a big hole to retrieve it. You can keep the hole if you want. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, kids. Okay. I will mix these two. Now I have sodium carbonate with ammonium chloride. Is that explosive? No. I mean, I guess. It's a smelling salt. It's used in some sports for waking people up. Okay, let's give this a try. <coughs> He's awake! What kind of sorcery is this? It's not magic. Smelling salts release ammonia gas, which triggers an inhalation reflect by irritating the mucous membranes of the nose and lungs. Fainting can be caused by excessive parasympathetic and vagal activity that slows the heart and decreases perfusion of the brain. The sympathetic irritant effect is exploited to counteract these vago parasympathetic effects and thereby reverse the faint. Cool. Hello? I will not talk! But you are conscious, right? Y yes Good. Hi, Bo. Hi, kids. Hey, the guy over there woke up! Awesome. Now, kids, wait outside a minute. Monica and I need to talk with this gentleman in private. Do you think the bull is going to kill him? I don't think so. It's not his style. He doesn't kill in cold blood. Are you sure? Yes. Almost positive. Okay, kids. I have the information I was looking for. Can you help us with the alien thing? Nah, sorry. I got a lot of work to do right now. I have to gather the guys, dig a huge hole, load a truck, and send it to... somewhere else. Can you at least tell us where you are going to dig the hole? Yes. It could be crucial in setting our trap. <sighs> okay. But I need you to wait here for about 30 minutes, then go to the green wood. You will find a big hole there, but after that, we are even. Okay? Perfect! We have a deal. Sure! What favor does he owe you? Oh, that. I gave him the number for a good pizza place. He really appreciates that kind of stuff.
Hello? The bowl made this hole, and it's extremely deep. We should drop the bear trap inside the hole and put a net above it. Exactly. And then lure the alien. A foolproof trap. No way anyone can escape that! This bear trap is broken. Even if I did want to use it here, it isn't going to work. Nope. Well, if the hole is already here, I guess this is the place. Who is going to climb up there? Give me a minute. I'll have this set up in no time. Done! Okay. I hope this gets the creature's attention. Don't forget to activate it first. Here we go! Now, hide! Do you think he's going to? Now! Drop the net! We got him! That was intense. He he saw us, and he sp spoke to us. He tried to communicate with us. We put together this stupid trap for nothing! For nothing! We wasted God knows how much time setting this trap up for nothing! Oh, wait, let me correct myself. It wasn't for nothing. Now the killer creature seems to be even stronger! We don't know that. I think he is right. Hmm. Apparently that sphere was one of his eyes, and it appears to have been a necessary component to activate his laser beam. We gave him a laser gun! This couldn't get any worse! What the hell? That wasn't far away from here. Let's go see what's going on. Are you nuts? If you are right, and we gave that creature a weapon, if someone is in danger because of something we did, then it's our responsibility. We should go see what's going on, and try to stop that thing. Bogus. I hate when you're right. Let's go.